I'd like to welcome everyone to our Thursday, July 25th, 2013 public business meeting. Gentlemen, are there any additions or deletions to our agenda? No, sir. None. I'd like to entertain a motion to approve the minutes of our July 11th, 2013 public business meeting. So moved. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved and seconded. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Moving right into presentations, gentlemen, item number one is the Miss Maryland Outstanding Teen 2013, Miss Sabrina Elizabeth Frost. Well, hello and welcome, young lady. Hello. If uh, we have a citation here, and uh, what we'd like to do is to have you come up and if we could present that to you. And before you come up, I understand that uh, you're a native of uh, Allegheny County attending Mountain Ridge and that you're gonna be competing for the national title next month. So is there anything that you would like to tell us about that competition that we may help you with or encourage or how, how can we help you to obtain this awesome, awesome title? Yes, well, the Miss Maryland's Outstanding Teen Organization is part of the Miss America's Outstanding Teen Organization. Okay which is actually the little sister to Miss America. And I will be heading off to Orlando in just two short weeks. So it's definitely crunch time right now, trying to wow. get prepared for that. But um, uh, basically the organization is all about the four points of the crown, scholarship, success, style, and service. So that's definitely something that is um, enforced in this organization and all the young women that represent it. And um, while I'm in Orlando, I will be competing in five phases of competition, personal interview, on stage question, evening gown, fitness, and talent. And another phase of competition that is not on stage is scholastic achievement. That is worth 10% of our score. So that's definitely a big stress in this organization. And um, it's definitely the scholarship side of things are definitely helping me. I received $700 for winning the state title and will receive 1000 just for showing up in Orlando. Um, I would like to obtain a uh, master's degree in biochemical engineering from MIT and then hopefully go on to get my graduate degree in genetic engineering. So it's definitely helped me a lot and will continue to help me throughout my high school years. Um, I just want to thank you on behalf of myself and the Miss Maryland organization. Your donation definitely means a lot, and it's an honor to be able to represent this part of the state at the national competition. Wonderful, wonderful. Commissioners, it would be all right if we could have her up here. Absolutely. Wow. I'm not going to scholastic. Style? Style, there you go. Style, I can do that one, but I can't do the fitness. Size? No, I don't think that was it. I don't think that had anything. Anyhow. We have a lot of fun here, so uh, please enjoy it. Well, that's true. That's true. Okay, we have here an Allegheny County government official citation. Be it here known to all that the Board of Commissioners highly commends Sabrina Elizabeth Frost, Miss Maryland Outstanding Teen 2013, July 25th, 2013, by all three county commissioners. Congratulations and thank, thank you very you. much for the representation. Thank you. Did we, oh, we got to come together. Yeah, can we have mom and dad up here? Let's get her mom and dad up there. Mr. and Mrs. Frost. Let's get them up there, but one on each side of them. There you go. Congratulations, sir. Sure. All right, this way, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. And another one. This way. Thank you all. Perfect. All right. 
Commissioners, I understand that Sherry Thomas, the executive director of Miss Maryland, is also with us here this evening, and we know her daughter. We know the whole clan. We do. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, we do. They're good people. <clears throat> Did I ever tell you about the beauty patch and I? Oh. <laughs> I entered. And yeah, we'll save that for another time. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that will be a short story. So. <laughs> All righty. Gentlemen, in our action agenda, item number two. This is the Aramark Agreement Renewal. And the sheriff is not here, but are you going to... Captain we, Cutter, are do you we need to talk this? I can answer any questions you have. Okay. I don't know if we have any, but if you would, please. Sure. Captain, thank you. Uh, commissioners, uh, this is a recommendation that the county commissioners agree to renew the agreement with Aramark to provide dietary services at the detention center for the term of July 8th, 2013 till July 7th, 2014. Now this does include a 1.5 increase in the price of meals over the fiscal year 2013. Captain, is there anything to add or addition or uh, everything just go well? Yeah, just that uh, two, last year we went out on RFP, Aramark received the bid, um, and this year, because the budget process works so early, uh, Aramark doesn't have a quote into us at that point, so we based it on 2.5%, which they come in a little higher. We did negotiate it down to 1.5%, uh, which is a savings of about $32,000 for the county from the original number. Okay. okay. Oh, well, good. Perfect. Commissioners, any questions? No, I'd like, like to entertain a motion that we uh, uh, sign this renewal. Is there a said motion? So move. Is there a second? Second. Any additional comments? It's been moved by Commissioner Valentine, seconded by Commissioner Brody. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes. Thank, thank, you, thank you, you, Cap. All right. Item number three, gentlemen, is the Potomac Edison right of way agreement. And uh, it does say that Paul's going to be talking, but I understand that the Devin Aaron dashing Mr. Adam Patterson. <coughs> Where's the glasses? I think he lost them on vacation. What? I mean, talk about style. I mean, Webster's Dictionary, there's your picture right there. I don't have any comeback today. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm still recovering from vacation. Those are, those are compliments. Thank you. Uh, you have before you tonight, yeah, Paul was unable to make it tonight, so I'm standing in for him. It's a right-of-way request uh, from Potomac Edison across the county property out near uh, Piney Plains Ball Field to uh, service a property owned by Mr. Randall Mann. Paul's visited the site. I uh, talked to him this afternoon. No adverse impact uh, on the ball, fair, ball field for any future use. So, any questions? Commissioners, I'd like to entertain a motion that we accept this right away agreement. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved by Commissioner McKay, seconded by Commissioner Brody. Any comments, questions? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Item number four is a county vehicle transfer. Mr. Everly. Commissioners, two weeks ago, you took formal public action to declare three vehicles in a roads division a surplus. Two of those um, uh, low mileage vehicles uh, we are um, uh, recommending uh, for transfer to our municipal partners in Westernport and Barton. Okay. Is there a motion to accept this county vehicle transfer? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Any comments? Mr. How, how are we going to get those vehicles down here? We are delivering them ourselves. Uh, Western Port should receive theirs August, I think it's 4th, at, at their public meeting. We're going to deliver it, and then the town of Barton will probably get to them shortly thereafter. Actually, we asked, uh, the mayor of Barton was up today to take a look at his truck and was very excited about this. Oh, wow. Mayor Laffey in Western Port has been uh, kind of chomping it to bit to get his, so this is a very, a very good thing. They're 
both very appreciative. Christian, do you have a driver lined up for the, for both those deliveries? Uh, actually, the driver of both trucks should be me, or oh. shall be me. Okay. I just need to ride back because it's pretty. It's well, that, that's about all I'm worth. I, I can't drive that heavy equipment stuff. So, and I, I believe I'd feel more comfortable riding with Bill because I know he'll take me straight home. So, <laughs> traveling with you is sometimes an adventure in itself. Yep. Okay, gentlemen. There is a motion on the floor, <laughs> which I think we need to call for the question. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. I think we should have added drivers to the motion. <laughs> Gentlemen, our consent agenda. Mr. Everly, what do we have? Commissioners, uh, we have a light agenda this evening. It consists of one item. It's uh, related to a request that we received from the Building Trades Foundation uh, for a, uh, a refund of taxes that uh, they recently paid for a project um, um, here in the county. Uh, the organization, as you're aware, is tax exempt and several years ago uh, a legislative remedy was provided to them where they would not be required to pay taxes, real estate taxes. Okay. So. I'd like to entertain a motion to accept our consent agenda. So moved. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved by Commissioner Brody, seconded by Commissioner Valentine. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Mr. Everly, what do you have? Commissioners, this evening um, we uh, did have uh, bid openings this week. Uh, we have uh, two bids uh, that are part of the packet here this evening. Uh, one is for the emergency watershed protection uh, contract, um, and one is for the sheriff's building shell construction contract. Uh, both of those uh, uh, articles have been uh, tabulated and forwarded to uh, uh, the Department of Public Works, and I am confident that uh, next week you will be taking formal public action uh, to award both of those contracts. Okay, that's good news. Good news. That's all I have. Thank you. Mr. Rudd, anything on your plate? I have nothing. You have nothing. I'm sorry yeah, to hear that. I'm an attorney with nothing to say. That's right. That's why we keep him around. Oh. Commissioners. Is there anything that you'd like to add? Commissioner Valentine. <laughs> okay. Um, on uh, Friday, July 12th, had an opportunity to have, uh, have lunch with Scott Just, the general manager at Rocky Gap. We had a good discussion about uh, different uh, things that's going on out, out at the casino resort. Uh, they're still working to build the new conference centers out there. They're expanding their services. Uh, business is going good enough that they uh, feel they're going to have to do an early start on on the parking garage because parking's get to be a bit of a uh, tough situation for them. And then on the 17th, uh, went back out to Rocky Gap. Maryland Public Television was doing a a special on on the uh, lodge. It's getting a lot of interest across the state. Uh, many people coming uh, to use the casino are suddenly discovering how pretty Rocky Gap itself is. And even though they're, they're coming right now originally to uh, go to the casino, uh, they're finding they're having a lot of people coming back on weekends, not necessarily to use the casino, but to make, uh, make use of the lake, the walking trails and everything. So I think we got an overall package whenever we got the casino, and it, it's nice to see it doing well. You know, just if, if I may about the the uh, casino commissioner. I was talking to uh, a delegate from a Anne Arundel County today who uh, he and I had a meeting up in Garrett County, but he actually broke down right in front of Rocky Gap. And that was at 11 o'clock last night. So they walked over thinking that they could at least stay the night and then deal with their car troubles in the morning, only to be told that they were sold out and that the only day in July that they were not sold out um, was about July 9th or July 10th, but they are sold out for the whole month that they're booked. So that's uh, pretty interesting. It's good for economic development and the, the overall package. So yeah. I apologize. Didn't no, that's good. I uh, just tickled death to see it. It do so well. I think that uh, whether anyone wants to go out and play or not, everyone at least ought to go out and see it and take a tour of it because it is very interesting. But uh, as usual, uh, the calendar is always online, and, and I'd like to thank everyone that was involved with another great gem in our 
our, our crown, uh, the fair last week. It went off very good. The weather was a little hot, but it was well attended. And, and since we have also two very key members of the fair sitting here with the fire police, thank you, gentlemen, for what you do. Uh, that went off very well. So, Dan, you shared me some numbers that you were putting together. Would you like to share that tonight, or do you want to do that on another, another occasion? If you would, please. I, I think this is really important, talking about volunteerism here in the county. <clears throat> in the course of the week, uh, Tommy Matheny's group uh, has everything outside the fence. Our group has the security for the stuff inside the fence, and Tommy's in there a little bit too, but we're basically in and out. Uh, we did well last week. Uh, we had 89 people show up throughout the week, and uh, we did 684 and a half hours. I'll claim 85 and steal a half hour off of you. But uh, <laughs> you know, 685 hours, 89 people, so that's a lot of manpower, a lot of time. We had a good time, everything went well, no major problems. Everything ran really smooth. Uh, and your signs were posted everywhere and uh, everything was great. Well, perfect. It, it was a good week, a little warm, but it was a good week. I've been spending some time down in Washington County at their fair this week, and um, it's a little bit different, but there's definitely Allegheny County's fair is, is a whole lot better. I mean, it's more of a family atmosphere. It's all together. So One of the nicest things very, very that has been <clears throat> said to us by parents, and it says a lot for not only our group, for everybody involved with it, was, was a number of parents come up, and you made a statement to me once yourself earlier that they can come in, buy the wristband for their kids to go ride the rides, and cut them loose, and then go to the shows because they know the kids are safe. Nobody, you know, we've had, in the process of the week, I think three or four parents that got lost that the six and seven year olds had to find. And uh, <laughs> w within, you know, we get, uh, a call that this youngster's not exactly where his mom and dad's not where they left him. And uh, with the surveillance system that you guys put in with the help of Mark and some other folks and us having that many people on the grounds, within seven, eight minutes, the adults were lined back up with the kids and the kids took them for an ice cream cone. So it, you, you worked out we really well. We actually did a test run of that system with Commissioner Valentine, so we actually know how that yeah. worked out. Yeah. We have that same problem too with him sometimes. Finally, so I have found places to hide from them. So. It wasn't with us. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate your thank help. You very much. Thank you for everything you do. And thank for, you, Clarence. Yeah, for, for clarification, it's I would l let my 12-year-old and 15-year-old go. We, we don't let the two-year-old, the three-year-old, and four-year-old just go by themselves, okay? That's just... What about the other four? <laughs> well, they're on their own. No, that's... Okay. Anything else, sir? No, sir. All right. Anything? Any? Well, I think Creek does have to tell people, you got something happening uh, within the next day or two, don't you? By anniversary? Bingo. Absolutely. <laughs> Tomorrow will be 27 years. All right. Well, Good. congratulations. Awesome, awesome, oh, awesome. Wow. Thank you, Bill. Okay. Just remind everyone that our next public business meeting will be Thursday, August the 1st, 2013 at 5 o'clock right here in room 100. Our next public work session will be Thursday, August the 1st, 2013 at 4 o'clock in room 212. And I'd like to call your attention to the Allegheny <coughs> County's Encore for the Hero Award Ceremony, which will be Wednesday, August the 7th, 2013, right here uh, in room 100. And at there, we will be honoring um, the all the members of the Allegheny County Fire Police, the Mountain Amateur Radio Club, and the five special operations teams consisting of Collapse, Confined Space, Hazmat, High Angle and Swift Water. All groups will be honored that day and hope that you will come out for that. Remind everyone of the announcement of the Rawlings Route 220 proposed water project. Public meeting will be Wednesday, August the 7th, 2013 at seven o'clock at the Rawlings United Methodist Church. We'd like to thank everyone for attending your short 
uh, public business meeting, and I hope you have a nice evening. Thank you.